Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2, part of the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We're going to start today's episode off just by talking to some of the crew members that we finished the loyalty missions for. That's Miranda, Jacob, and Jack. I just want to see where their head's at, how they're feeling after everything that's gone down. We already talked to Miranda a little bit. In fact, I don't think she has much more to say to me at all. In fact, but it's important to know what crew morale is at right now. Commander. What can I do for you? Um, how's the Normandy? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Uh, I think if I say, can we talk, she's not going to want to. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Sure. I'll let you work. Of course. We got most know. of her dialogue after her mission anyway. Let's go see Jacob. Hey, buddy. Still hanging out here in the corner? Looking at a gun on your screen? Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Yeah, not a problem. Don't worry. It will not affect how I do my job. It's over. Yeah, but, you know, it's probably still a little heavy on you, right? You sure you don't want to talk about it? I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on force. Already? Shepard. Let's do this later. Dude, no one in my crew even likes me. I believe we've already been through most of this, but what are your thoughts on the current mission? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Doing good, but good is just as dead as bad, if I understand the threat. How long can we last with collectors going wherever they want? Anything else, Commander? It was short and sweet. Get back to your keyboard, Jacob. We'll talk later. Commander. I don't think my crew likes me. <laughs> hey, Jack. You doing okay down here? I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. I mean, I do know a little bit. I've made a lot of hard calls in my day. <laughs> you know, like wanting to stop Sovereign. Everyone keeps bringing that one up. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go? Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? Hey, do you feel like you've changed? Actually, did sparing Resh help you at all? I mean, I know that's not what you wanted to do, but I think it was the right thing to do. I never thought I'd see you show mercy, but you let a Resh live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. All right, all right. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone, but I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I just wanted to help. Wanting to murder everyone probably isn't a good sign. You sure about this? I want to do whatever I can to get your head on straight. Don't get all therapist on me, Shepard. You're not the couch type. I hate that stuff anyway. Bullshit, prison, psych. You did me a favor, and that's enough. More than I expected. I'll keep it together. Sure. Do you have... Hey. Hmm. Yeah, what do you think about Miranda and Jacob? I know she just got in an argument, argument with Miranda. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Yeah. She doesn't have any recommendations for how to upgrade the ship in any way, so I'm going to ask her what she thinks of the mission. What do you think of our mission? I owe you, Shepard. If you think it's important, that's good enough for me. Hey, I appreciate that. I should go. Okay, talk later. I imagine that kind of trust with Jack is relatively hard to earn. I promised you guys we would go for a new crew member in today's episode, and that's what we're going to do now. Dossier Tally. Tally Zora Vasnima, expert in combat tech and system hacking, strong engineering background, familiar with the Normandy. Formerly listed as Tally Zora Naraya, the Quarian engineer earned her adult name after helping Shepard defeat Saren two years ago. Tally is currently on a classified assignment for the Migrant Fleet Admiralty Board on Haystorm, deep 
in Geth-controlled space. Shepard, our data indicates the tally is somewhere in these ruins. There is considerable Geth activity and an environmental hazard. Solar output has overwhelmed Haystrom's protective magnetosphere. Exposure to direct sunlight will damage your shields. Roger that. You think that bug would know that though? He just got melted. That was a big ass bug. He's been alive a little bit of time. Okay, so if it's damaging my shields, let's just run through it. I did put on some new armor today. Funny enough, I'm pretty sure the helmet increases our maximum shield capacity. I'm having serious issues with my shields. Yeah, I understand that. Stay out of the sunlight. We're moving. We're sprinting. We're okay, guys. We're okay. Get down here. Emergency log entry. The gates are here. I've stayed to oh, find the no. Anyone who gets this, find Talizor. She and that data are all that matters. Kill us alive. Okay, so Geth are already here and already ahead of us, and we know the tally is up ahead somewhere too. I opened up the gate. That should allow us to pass through. I didn't see too much of anything else that I actually wanted to pick up. But here we go, Geth coming in. I want to get rid of that crate. I don't even want to think about using that as a shield. Uh, I have an achievement that I didn't know uh, I haven't been getting credit for. And it's to use warp specifically on barriers and use our incinerate specifically on armor. Let's go ahead and knock that guy down before he does any more damage to us with Garrus's knockdown. Brought Garrus and Miranda on this mission. Garrus, an old friend of Tally's and Miranda, is our go-to representative. Uh, with the elusive man. Death Trooper on the right. We don't have a ton of stopping power for robotics with our current setup. What was that beep? Is that my shields in the sunlight? Hey, they should get damaged in the sunlight too, right? <laughs> it doesn't appear so. A heavy pistol damage upgrade. Love to see that. Let's see if we can double overload this guy's shields. And then now that he doesn't have shields, I'm going to hit him with a concussive shot from Garrus as well, just to keep him on the ground. And it looks like that concussive shot was actually enough to fully take out the target. On the top floor now, still trying to stay out of direct sunlight here, although it is a little challenging. Looks like our overload is enough to get through the shields of these targets initially. Okay, chilling, chilling, chilling. Not chilling anymore at all. This might be a great opportunity to use. Here, I'm going to do a concussion on this guy, so hopefully he falls back. I'm doing an overload on the Geth Trooper in the back with the shields. And at the same time, we're going to try to do a slam. A biotic body slam that inflicts massive damage. It looks like it's only on one target. She picked him up and then smashed him back down to the ground. What's the cooldown on that ability, I wonder? We can definitely put that up here. We can put his concussive up there. Do it again! Here we go. Oh, shield. oh shit, I am going to need to... I can just overload and we'll be okay. But I already queued the action, so I'm just going to have to melee. I want to see that slam. Do it again. Do it again. Down you go. That one didn't That one didn't connect. That one didn't work out at all. Come back here. Oh, a rocket just flew by me. I think I'm in the sun, too. Let me get down. Let me get down. I'm okay. Let's send in Ball after him. He can take care of some shit. I saw some comments the other day about using SMGs instead of my automatic pistol. I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that at all. I just haven't done it yet. Our guns have been chunking through this game, no problem. I also did see someone responded saying that we were on the default difficulty. That is not true. We are veteran gamers over here, okay? Shields overloading. Let me get into the shade. Go, 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 go. My main focus with these videos is always to make it as immersive of an experience as possible. And sometimes things like swapping out weapons just kind of gets pushed to the wayside. I just kind of forget about it. But thanks for bringing that up. I'll look into it. Looks like we're doing pretty well pushing through here. I am going to swap over to that machine pistol just as we're moving forward. I'm hoping we encounter some people with barriers so I can start working on that achievement. Don't know what these guys are shooting at, but they don't know I'm behind them. 
Uh, do it again. That's pretty satisfying. We're bunkered up here. Can you send support? The X9C Tempest submachine gun has been acquired. Hey, what do you know? What do you know? Maybe it's time. Op one, this is squad leader Cal Rieger. Come in. Over. Uh, I'm here to help. This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Patch your radio into channel 617 Theta. We were on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. Roger that. Uh, what's your current status? How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Talizor at a secure shelter, then doubled back to all the choke points. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep them off you. I'll do my best. Uh, you're willing to die? Obviously, they're willing to die. Stay where you are. I'm going to do everything I can. Full position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait, watch your ass. We got a dropship coming in. Whoa! Oh, that's not good. Are we running under this thing? Crap, doorway's blocked. Grab the demo charges in the buildings nearby. Use them to clear a path. Are you sure it's blocked? It kind of looked like there was an entry. There's a fucking gap right there. You sure I can't squeeze through that? Let's pick this guy up and slam him. That's going to be one of our go-to moves with Miranda now. Ooh. Both sets of charges, got it. Oh, look, we automatically swapped over to the new SMG. That ripped right through those guys. We were using an SMG back when we did Kasumi's mission. Uh, it did get auto-equipped, but it didn't have any bonuses to armor or barriers to speak of. It just did damage and it was accurate according to its description. So maybe, maybe I didn't get the full story there, but that's one reason we unequipped it. This one, what's its description? Some machine gun is deadly at short range, but inaccurate at long range, effective against shields and biotic barriers, but weak against armor. So exactly like our automatic pistol from before. The friendly team is moving up behind me. Let's get another slam on this dude. Shields in the back, those won't do. I'm just gonna overload him anyway. Since he's still standing, we'll hit him with a concussive blast and finish him off. More reinforcements from the back. Ooh, even a stealth geth over there as well. I'm just going to fire off some bullets in his general direction, spray and pray at him until he gets a little closer. Then there's my overload, and you guessed it. I guess I missed, but I was going to pick him up and throw him down to the ground again. Geth trooper taken care of. Geth hunter is done. And with that, I'm feeling a little more confident to push in here. I think those are most of the reinforcements that came down that ramp side. Keep slamming. You're doing great. You're doing great. Now, if we do see anyone with armor, I do need to start incinerating that. I would hate to get to the end of the game and not get an achievement that my class was capable of getting. Right now, we're currently working on playing through Mass Effect 1 over on Twitch. We're streaming every day in July, and I just have a few more Mass Effect 1 achievements to pick up. Playing through that game as a soldier has been such a blast. We did a great session earlier today. We have one of the demolition charges. We need a core sample to get a timeline on the rate of radiation increase, but our equipment keeps dying on us. Shepard once used a mining laser to clear some rubble back on Therum. Maybe I can do something similar with demolition charges. Ooh, learning from the best, are we, Tally? <laughs> Reinforcements for the enemy team coming in here. We got a Geth Prime moving towards us. We're going to hit him with one overload. And then as soon as my cooldowns are ready to go again, we're going to send in the ball. This guy in front is just super duper easy to get through. Another overload from Miranda. Just a couple more shots. Okay, here we go. Can I tell these guys to cease fire? What if I just swap their weapons? Guys, don't shoot. I have to do 25 incinerates. Keep, keep switching. Change weapon. I'm on it. Don't shoot. Switch You're up. doing great, Garrus. You might want to move back a little bit, though. 
All right, gear swap them out again. That's an order, soldier. Switch up. Combat drone. Oh, they summoned a combat drone. Okay, so they do have reinforcements in the back. So, Watch out. hold on. Here's last incinerate. We're also going to hit him with a warp too. 15 out of 25. We are almost there. Uh, now that his armor and shields are down, this guy is a prime candidate for our new slam ability from Miranda. That combat drone is dead and finished. And we're going to get a, ooh, not going to get a concussive shot. We're going to take his shields down first and then concuss him with Garrus's ability. <laughs> Sit the fuck back down. Now, I imagine the other demolition charge is going to be pretty close by. Was that the sun hurting me? No, there was more reinforcements. Uh, bro. Can, can Walter Shepard not do a pull-up? We need more demolition I Just go over that thing. That doesn't look hard at all. Get Trooper in the back. We'll concuss just to take him down. Lift up this dude on the left with Miranda and slam him back down. Fuck. A Geth Destroyer coming towards me and I'm also in the sun. So we need to back up here and we need to take cover right away. A few shots into the shield with the submachine gun. Should take care of those shields, no problem. We're going to knock him down now. Assuming Garrus can get the shot off. We're not going to wait for it. We're going to lift with Miranda because it looked like he was pinned. Uh, now, let's send in the ball on the back ranks of these guys. If the Geth Destroyer is still alive, that's an easy freeze to completely take that target out. Another freeze on the back line as well. Not sure if it's going to land because that target had shields. But we're able to finish him off. No problem. Hey, you got any demolition charges in here? Yeah, you got any of those? Hey, here we go. We have reinforcements being dropped in by the Geth as we were looking to make our way back to that thing that we need to destroy. <gasps> Did you see the drop on that dude in the back? Miranda, good shit. <coughs> Holy fuck. Bro, I thought you went flying. Down, drop. Did it connect that time? Oh, big man coming up left side. We're going to take out those shields, get a concussive blast on him as well. Actually, I think he was melted by the overload. A ton of damage coming out with that. Uh, another guy moving up here. We'll double overload him. One with me, one with Miranda. It's our one-two punch. Okay. We have a dude on my left. He does not have armor, so we're going to knock him down. Get destroyer right on top of me. Double oh, one overload, and then if I can change it. Oh, that was actually a great explosion. Holy shit. I think the fuel tank on his back blew up. Enemy down. Well, that was great. That was excellent. I think that is the rest of the Geth reinforcements. We have one more charge to place on here. And we have five seconds to take cover. Now we're safe. Guys, back up, back up, back up. Moving. I'm going to ground. You bet. On your six. Good job. Let's get in here. Hopefully Tally is not far away now. As my shields just get melted standing at the door. Uh huh. Someone did a lot of damage in here. I'm not seeing anyone, though. This colony predates the Geth uprising. Um, why would the Quarians come here? Whatever they're after, I hope it's worth it. Our ancestors walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space, walls of stone. It's amazing. I wish my friends could see it. I wish Shepard were here. <gasps> Tally? Tali's ordered to base camp. Come in base camp. Uh, hello? Ancestors walked these halls with that was the wrong thing. The we bypassed this safe really fast. So 6,000 credits from the wall. Camp. Come in base camp. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Hello? Is anyone there? I am. <laughs> Tally, it's Shepard. Shepard? I'm not complaining, but you show up at the strangest time. What are you doing in the middle of get space? Well, I came here to help. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Call Rieger and 
what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of geth outside. Uh, the door's locked. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the geth and the console is damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. Roger that. <laughs> 